can't believe how much he's away. Do that one in my rock and they don't weigh that much. Yeah. Well that's a bell that's a bell super bell in the front of your rock. Yeah. That would be lighter. That's what I'm contending with right now. You gotta have this eight but iron to go underneath. Yeah. So everything falls down over. Yeah. Then that's gotta be cut down. Might have to find another radiator. Because <laughs> I don't know if I can cut it down low enough. That's way too high. <laughs> yeah, but you can drop it down. About two and a half inches, I figure, because of this. If this radiator didn't drop this much on this side, it could drop it more. But. Well, it looks like if you took that frame off it, you could drop it between the frame rails. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can then you can get it as low as your axle anyway. That should work. That radiator should be more than plenty if you're going to use that six cylinder out there too. Yeah, and she don't leak. And I friggin' took the actually it came right loose the pet cock and yeah fluid come out of it and everything so that's it's, good and it hasn't it's never leaked it was right full of fluid when we got it so yeah it should be fine the radiator cool you're gonna go with coil springs in the back right yeah 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 i'm gonna do coils in the back and probably a set of ladder bars yeah pan hard bar Just figured I'd give it a softer ride that's all in the back. Sure. That's what I'm worried about though is the uh, front end. I don't want to have anything bottom it out on there. Yeah. Cool. It's like $59 for a, uh, for a spring out of Speedway, so. That ain't bad. Slipper with a slipper buttons on them. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably just order a spring out of there. It's 26 inches long, that one is eye to eye. Yeah. For a tea bucket, but it will work. Yeah, it'll work. Good deal.